Welcome to Electra Online. Now we're going to take a closer look at how our monthly payments are divided up between principal and interest. And of course, that depends a lot upon the duration of the loan, the length of the loan, 30 years, 15 years, the amortization period, and it also depends on the interest rate, of course. But let's take an example. Let's say that we're borrowing $100,000 for 30 years at 9% interest. And so we can, of course, calculate the monthly payments using this equation. You should be familiar with the equation by now. And so that ends up being $804.62 that we have to pay back to the bank every month for the next 30 years, 360 payments in order to pay off the $100,000 loan. So the question is, well, after one month, after two months, after three months, how much of our money has gone to principal and how much has it of it has gone to interest. So we're going to write down the loan balance, starting out with a loan balance of $100,000. The payment made every month will be $804.62. So how much of that will be interest? Well, to calculate the interest, we have the equation right here. At any time for any payment you make, the interest will be the loan balance times the rate divided by 12. Because, of course, the rate is a yearly rate, and if we divide it by 12, we get the interest paid per month. So in this case, for the first payment, the loan balance will be $100,000. The, the rate is 9%, 0 0.09, and the number of months is 12. That's a $750 payment going into interest. So the interest payment out of that payment will be $750. The principal, how much will go to principal paying off the loan? Well, the principal will, will be the monthly payment minus the interest payment. So the monthly payment is this much. That's how much we paid for interest. The difference is what we pay into principal. So therefore, the principal payment on the first month will be $54.62. So the balance will be the loan balance minus the principal. So that will be $99,900. $3, oh, not $43, $45, $45.38. So you can see after you made a nice hefty payment of $804, only 54 of it will go to paying off the loan and 750 of it will go to paying off the interest. So that now is your loan balance the next month. So after one month, your loan balance now is $99,000. $945.38. So again, the next month you'll make another payment of $804.62. So what is the interest payment now? Well, the interest payment will be the 9% times this amount divided by 12. So we have 99,945.38 times 0 0.09 divided by 12. And so now of that amount, not $750, but $749 and 59 cents will go to interest. Well, if you subtract that from the payment of $804.62, you can then see that to the principal, we now have a total of $55.03 going to principal. So if you subtract $55.03 from that, so we have $99,000. 945.38 minus 55.03, oop, 55.03 equals. So now, after making two payments, our loan balance now is 99,890 and 35 cents. So you can see that the paying off the loan is a very slow, painstaking affair for the first months and the first years. A very small amount of your money will go to principal and a large chunk of each payment will go to interest. Let's go one more month. So after three months, after making two payments, the loan balance now is $99,890.35. Again, we make a third payment now of $804.62. We take the loan balance, multiply times the rate, divided by 12, so we take Nine, this one, so times 0 0.09 divided by 12 equals, so now the interest payment will be $749.18. So $749.18, subtract that from $804.62. And notice now of that payment, $55.00. 
and 44 cents will go to principal. So you can see that the amount going to principal increases by a very small amount every month and that the interest payment reduces very, very slowly. Again, if you subtract this number from the balance of the previous month, so plus 99, 890.35 equals, we now have a loan balance of $99,800. And $34.91. So you can see that after making three May payments of over $2,400 in total, your loan balance has been reduced by less than $200. And all the rest goes to the bank in interest payments. So the idea is we, we want to pay the, the loan off as quickly as possible, increase the total payment for every additional dollar put into the loan, it goes to principal, not interest, and you pay off the loan that much quicker. And again, lower interest rates, of course, are better. It's not as bad when the interest rates are low. It's really bad when the interest rates are high. And so you need to take that into account when you consider uh, making a mortgage payment. And that's how we do that.